Righto. G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Winnie Dog and I have snuck down to the Murray River in town just to see if we can find a couple of early spring yellow belly. This is a style of fishing that I love doing and I've been looking forward to it for a little bit so um, let's go see if there's any yellow belly around. I don't know how long we've got today, I do have a newborn at home uh, so I've just snuck out for a couple of hours fishing with two combos. Got a D style D blow shad on one which you guys have seen me use plenty of times. I've caught heaps of fish on this colour and it's become an absolute confidence lure. And on the other, I've got a Jackal TN50 in black. I'm going to float my way down, skip through a few spots. When I get to the bottom, I've got an exciting announcement that I want to talk about. And then I'll work our way back up and fish any pockets of fish that we found on the way down. Oh, got him. Got him. This little pocket last year was really good just on the top of this rock wall. We got a heap of fish out of it. But it seemed like you only ever get one at a time. There he is, beautiful, he's very long and lean, this, this yellow. Hopefully you guys can see him over there. What do you reckon, Wynn? You can see him, can't you? Still, nice long fish. Probably in the very high 40s, I'd say. There we go, first spring yellow for the season. Let's just spot lock here. It's a beautiful long fish. There we go. The old iometer might need a bit of calibrating. He's gone. That pragmat's just a little bit folded. We'll just call him 53. Right, oh no, there he is. What a beautiful river fish on that D style D blow shad. That thing did damage last year. Well, I've started with it today and there's our first spring yellow for the season. I'll pop that hook out and we'll get him back. Righto, 53 centimetre yellow going back. Don't tell your friends. Righto, let's pull up and have a bit of a chat. Winnie and I have uh, come down about as far as we're going to go. Um, she's just stretching her legs and having a bit of a swim and then we'll work our way back up. Just the one fish, that's the only fish that we saw. Just going to revisit a couple of holes on the way back up and see if we can stir up one or two more fish and then we'll get out of here. I just want to take the opportunity uh, to do this announcement that I've been talking about. First of all, I am very proud to announce that I've been nominated as president of the Lavington Anglers Club. And this is something that I'm taking very seriously. Um, I feel very privileged to have been put in this position uh, and I'm very excited to see what the future holds. Uh, and what that means for the channel. So what I want to do, I've been working on this idea, I want to donate any money that the YouTube channel makes to the fishing club. And with that, um, I'll still be running the channel and nothing else is going to change there and my videos will remain much the same except that what I will do is each month I'll film the competitions that we fish. So we have a competition at the first weekend of every month and flowing on from that, I want to give people the opportunity, and I'm not sure how this is going to go, but it's just a good idea in my head. If you want to see your gear that you make or import or whatever used on this channel, we will do it on those competitions. Um, one example is we had Gage from Spinrite Lures, so he donated a dozen spinnerbaits, one for each competition of the month, and then he um, gave me about, I don't know, a handful, five or six seconds that he couldn't sell. So they had scratch blades, chipped paint, that sort of thing. Uh, and I've used them in a couple of videos you guys might have seen. 
um, what we want to do is um, we might do say lure reviews, unboxings, um, just use the tackle and catch fish and talk about what we like about it, you know, all that sort of stuff. So the idea is this, each month prior to the competition, I will go and check the mailbox. And if there is any lures in that mailbox, I will do my best to catch a fish on them for that competition on that weekend. Now, if I can't uh, say, for example, you provide trout lures and we're going cod fishing or whatever, I'll use them when I can. Um, and it's not just me, there's a couple of young fellas in the club as well that I'm, they're pretty involved and uh, I like fishing with them. So them and I will be using any lures that are donated um, that are not to be used as prizes. So if this interests you, uh, what you could do is you could include a note or you could send me a message. I'll put the PO box in the comments below. I just need to find it. Um, yeah, and you can contact me however you like on any of my socials. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. Just ducking back across to where we just caught that yellow. We've just given this whole bit of a break. It's gonna give this a bit of a fish, see if there's any more in there. And if not, we'll start making our way back upstream. I'd love to just get one or two more fish if I can, just to make a bit of a video out of it. Let's see how we go. Oh, got him. Oh, got him. Another nice little yellow. He come a long way out for that fish. That's another hole where we found them last year. Later in the season, you could, uh, if you could get the cast, which took me a few goes, you would get a fish most most of the time, provided it hadn't been fished on the day. Okay, Wynn's a bit more excited about this one. Look out, Wynn. I'll just turn that electric off so I can float back to him. Nice dark fish. Beautiful. Not as big as that other one, but probably I called the other one high 40s. I'd say this one will be this one will be high 40s if the other one was 53. There we go. Talk about high 40s. There's that D style D blue shad, and that fish is just a, a hair short of 50. In fact, I'd probably call it 50 if we could just yeah. So we've got a 50 and a 53. Let's have a look at him. There we go. Another nice lean fish. 50 centimetres on the nose on that D-style D-blow shad. That's fish number two, which means we've got a video. Hey Winnie, let's get her back. I don't know if that's a yellow. I think that might be a cod. Just the way that it slammed that then. Picked it like a nose, it's a small cod. Come up 
be back. Righto. You guys won't be getting too much of a look at this fella, seeing as it's closed season, but there he is. Beautiful little cod, probably around 55 or thereabouts. I'll just get these hooks out and get him straight back. Cool, right guys, we just let that cod go as quick as we could. Um, unfortunately, no one told the cod that it was closed season. He's just eating a yellow belly lure. Beautiful looking fish, actually. Probably, uh, I caught him 55, but I'd say he'd probably be closer to 60 after having a bit of a look at him, So, which is good to see. And that's fish number three for the afternoon. I think with that, we might pack up, hey, Winnie? That's probably enough. Like I said earlier on, we do have a newborn at home that I need, I need to get home to, so it was nice enough of leash to let me go out. I don't want to take advantage. Anyway, if you are interested in that offer, um, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, so the next fishing comp is the first full weekend of October. That's the last competition of this calendar year. And then the calendar year refreshes in November. The first weekend of November is when I really want to have this going by. Um, how's my thumb from that cod? If you are interested in that offer, you can uh, send a package to PO Box 131 Lavington New South Wales 2641. I'll drop that down below and I'll probably even put it on the screen here. Um, yeah, thanks to anyone who does want to get involved and um, I'm a man of my word, I will use any lures um, that you specify for my use uh, in upcoming videos on those competitions. So cheers, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.